just a little it's a little tighter in the cockpit that ain't bad right there the way you got in right there all right right now the skeg is up so it's in like white water white water mode right now and then do, do the little put your knees up in the sides and do the little to get kind of used to how it flops and floats <laughs> it's amazing how much control you have with that skeg up, isn't it? It, it really is. I mean, it's just like, you can stop and come this way. You look really good in it. It sets good in the water. Yeah, and you can actually lean it and turn it. Like that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a 10. You would need the 9. I'd need the 9. It's a little bit smaller. Yeah. All right, now drop your skeg down. Reach back. Twist it all around to the front. Now try to turn sideways. It's still better than that. It's, it's still better, but it, it's more controllable. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Go ahead and adjust your seat up. Each side, don't forget both sides need to about match, you know. And you can set two ways. You can put your knees up on the thigh pads or you can put your feet straight. And with the skeg up, you don't take such big strokes, because that way you don't go side to side. It does. It runs through the water very well. Yep, skeg in the back is up when the when the things turn to the back, the levers turn to the back. Now you might could do it the way you normally do it. I don't know. I could because I can get. There you go. There you go. Ah, I see. So they see that's possible. Yeah. That's definitely possible. Get it and just twist your butt around and then get up like you normally do. Ah. Awesome. Good pipe. I like the way it moves. Handles in the water. That's good. Yep.